welcome year three to another edition of Problem Solving with me, Mr. Braithwaite. Um, we'll ha have a look at adding lengths here today and we're starting with question 4a which says which three ribbons can add together to give a length between 1 meter and 15 centimeters and 1 meter and 30 centimeters. So the key words are three ribbons add together and my two amounts there which I'm just going to highlight to help me remember. So looking at the different ones we've got here in the table, we've got a blue ribbon, here's its length, a yellow ribbon, its length, green its length, orange and its length, silver and its length, which is slightly different, so I'm just going to put that as 116 centimetres there, just so that it's converted. Now, what it's asking us is anything in between 1 metre and 15 centimetres, or 115 centimetres, and 1 metre 30 centimetres, or 130 centimetres, so anything in between. So it can be 115 and more, but no more than 130 centimetres, or 1 metre 30. So here we have to do a little bit of sort of estimating to see which ribbons might work. And just looking at the three lengths at the top here, which are blue, yellow, and green, I want to give them a go and see, because they look pretty good. Silver looks a little long for me, but we'll see here. So I'm going to take blue, which equals 74. I'm going to take the yellow, which equals 10. And I'm going to take the green, which equals 39. And I'm going to have my little column method here. So if you remember, we've been looking at those number bonds. So here, I need, no, I need one more to get to 10. So that would be three left. So that's give me like that. Uh, just carry in the one. Seven and one is eight, nine. And again, number bonds, so that's nine. And a, th a three here, so nine, 10, 11, 12. That gives me 123 centimeters, which is between that. So I've, I've started there. There might be another one. Um, and you can have a go at some of the different ribbons, if you like, to see if you get the answer. So moving up, 5A, or number 2 on the sheet. A tunnel is 180 centimetres long. Uh, that's 1 metre 80, I've already converted it in my head. Which three toy trains will fit in the tunnel at once? So it's going to be another addition here, which we sort of guessed at with the title of the sheet. We're adding lengths. Um, again, I'm going to just convert this one to 112 centimetres. A looks a little long for me again. It's like the one silver ribbon. It just feels a little too long when I look at the other ones to be able to add it in. So I'm sort of estimating a little bit to see if that makes sense. So um, let's have a look. I'm going to pick, uh, let's see, I'm going to pick B, train B, I think, to start off with. Train B, and that's 95 centimetres. And I'm going to go for what? Mm, C, which is 70 centimetres and 3 millimetres. And well, we'll go BCD, why not? Get the D in there. And that's 38 centimetres. Quite a long column for this one. So I've got my 3 millimetres. So again, thinking of these number bonds, nothing to worry about in this column, in this section here. So eight, I need two more to get to ten, which will leave me with three, which makes it easy for thirteen. Lovely, one and nine gives me ten, so that's easy. And seven gives me seventeen. And then the three more is seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Too long, that one. Okay, so not to worry. We'll try a different one. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to start with D because it's 38 quite a small amount, so we'll go for D, and I'm going to try E, because that's the next smallest, I need three trains, um, so I'm going to pop, um, let's go for B, I think I'll have enough with B, that is 95 centimetres, into my column method again, so here we're going to go step by step, so 8, I need two more, gets me to 10, take from here to 14, and then the 5 more, which gives me 19, carry the 1, yeah, so 8 and 6, gives me that 14, and there, gives me that 5 more, which gives me 19, carry the 1, so 
four and four is eight. And then remember it again, so number bonds, so here, eight, and then nine more, so eight plus the two to get me to ten. Just leave me with seven, seventy-nine centimeters. That one works. Again, there could be another method and another another set, but that one works for me, so I'll stick with that one. And finally, 6A or number 3 on the sheet, which is the odd one out and convince me. Okay, first thing I've noticed is the mix. So I'm going to get them all to the same unit of measurement. We've got, uh, so that one's going to be 252 centimeters. This one's going to be 323 centimeters. And we've got uh, 310 in there. So, I've converted from the meters to the centimeters, and now I'm going to add them up and see which one is the missing, is the uh, the odd one out. So again, I'm just working in. So A equals three, four, eight, and sixty-four and ninety-three. So A is eight and four gives me twelve. One is fifteen. Carry the one. 5, 5 there, 5 from there to make that number bond, which gives me 10, plus 1 more is 11, and then that one gives me 20, and 2 and 3 gives me the 5, so that one is 505 centimetres. B is 2, 5, 2, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 2, 3. Now, already looking at this, I can see that it's going to be bigger, which is going to be it's going to be over six meters. So let's have a look. Two and two is four. Plus three, seven. Nothing to carry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, nothing to carry. And three and three is six. That's six hundred and ninety-seven centimeters. And finally, C. We've got one hundred and sixty-four, three hundred and ten, two hundred and twenty-three. Again, we've got seven, four and three, seven, six, and one is seven, eight, nine, and here one and three is four, five, six, hundred and sixty-seven. That means C and B are the same, so we would say A is the odd one out because. solving done for today. Good luck, enjoy yourselves, and I will see you soon for another edition of Problem Solving.